I recently picked up one of these, a Microsoft Surface Go 2. And uh, it being a Microsoft product, is it's of course running Windows 10. Me being a curious person though, and me being someone who's not necessarily a fan of Windows, I decided to try to install Ubuntu on this thing and see how that experience would be like. After looking through a few guides and watching a few tutorial videos on this topic, I thought the experience of actually installing Ubuntu on this device would be pretty easy. It actually wasn't, it was actually a little bit more complicated than I expected it to be. So today I'm making this video as a sort of reference for those who may be attempting to do something similar with their Surface Go 2. Or in other words, a kind of how to install Ubuntu onto the Surface Go 2 guide. Now to install Ubuntu on the Surface Go 2, you need the Surface Go 2, obviously, a bootable USB drive slash stick, and some kind of input method. The input method in this case could be the optional Surface Go keyboard cover, but if like me, you don't have that, a wireless keyboard and mouse can also be usable as input methods here. Some kind of USB-C to USB-A dongle may also be necessary depending on the kind of USB stick that you'll be using here. Quick tip before starting though, it is a good idea to let the Windows updater finish installing all of its updates prior to installing Ubuntu on the Surface Go 2. The Windows updater not only installs updates to the Windows OS, but it also installs updates to the BIOS slash firmware on this device. It's of course not impossible to install these BIOS slash firmware updates within Linux or within Ubuntu, but it's a bit of a pain in the butt. So I, I just think it's a little bit easier to let the Windows updater just take care of it all before you install Ubuntu onto this thing. With that out of the way, let's go into the actual steps involved with installing Ubuntu on the Surface Go 2. First, disable Secure Boot in the BIOS. You can get into the BIOS by holding down the Volume Up button and the Power button at the same time. Doing so should lead to a screen that looks like this. From there, go to the security section and disable secure boot. And then leave the BIOS and restart the device. Next, we need to get the Surface Go 2 to boot into the bootable Ubuntu USB drive. The first and most referenced method of doing this on Surface devices involves turning off the device, plugging in the bootable USB drive, and holding down the volume down button and the power button at the same time. This, according to a lot of guides, should boot us into the bootable USB drive. Unfortunately, I could not get this method to work on the Surface Go 2. According to some sources, the reason why the Surface Go 2 struggles with this method has something to do with the way in which the bootable USB drives tend to be configured. Even armed with that knowledge, I wasn't able to get this first method to work, but I don't know, experiences can vary from person to person. Maybe you'll have better luck than me. If, like me, you can't get the first method of booting into the bootable USB drive to work on the Surface Go 2, here's another secondary method that actually worked well for me. With the second method, we start off by booting into Windows on the Surface Go 2 and logging in. Then after logging in, plug in the bootable USB drive. From there, go into the Windows settings and look for recovery option with the search bar. In the recovery options section, click or tap on the restart now button, which you can find below the advanced startup section. This should lead to a blue screen that looks a bit like this. Tap on use a device here and you should see options that look a bit like this. Limpus Lite is referring to the bootable Ubuntu drive, so tap on that. Doing so should boot the Surface Go 2 into the bootable Ubuntu stick slash drive. If for whatever reason you can't find Limpus Lite in that blue screen section, uh, it is possible that you may need to reboot and try again. The reason why I say this was because I actually wasn't able to get this method to work the first time I did it. I actually had to try it a few times to actually get Limpus Lite to be formally recognized within that blue screen user device section. Once booted into the bootable USB drive, the steps involved with installing Ubuntu is pretty self-explanatory. Follow along with the steps that get laid out and just let the installer take care of the rest. And that's it as far as the process of installing Ubuntu on Surface Go 2 goes. Go 2 goes. I've of course made this video with instructions as to how you can install Ubuntu onto the Surface Go 2, but the process should pretty much be the same for other Linux distros that you can install through a bootable USB drive. All this of course wasn't particularly difficult or hard, it's just the steps involved with the Surface Go 2 are a little bit unique when compared to other Surface devices, so I thought it would be worth making a video on. To be clear, I'm using the Surface Go 2 here. I don't know about the Surface Go 3 and whether or not the steps involved with installing Ubuntu on that device is the same as the Surface Go 2. I don't have it, so I don't know. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching the video. And if you found this video helpful or informative in some way, shape or form, I would appreciate it if you could give this video a like.